Alrighty, now in the last video, yes, there will be an intro, even though this is going to be a sad story. Um, but hey, it's Boy Blue, back with another video. Start the intro. Bow! Hello. And sit here and cry. I did all my crying. So last week, last Sunday, one of my closest friends passed away. Now I know I've been active. I've been real active after I found out. Um, it has been. I didn't want to bring this up on YouTube, but you know, y'all are like my fans and I want y'all to know everything. Not everything, everything, like my relationship stats and stuff like that. Y'all can't know all that because y'all, some people are toxic like that. But, yeah, um, one of my closest friends died not too long ago and it, it sucks, you know, he was like, I played on the same basketball team as him. I played on the same football. Not the same football. Like, we just did a lot together. And then, not, not a, not like, not even like a day later, that same day, somebody was talking mess. Now, me, I was going to go down there. If y'all know me, I was going to go down there to wherever this person is and go you know, beat this dude's ass because you one you're not gonna talk down on my friend or on a day. You know what I'm saying? Now I didn't go for multiple reasons. I have a life ahead of me. Nineteen, I'm not gonna go down there, go beat somebody's ass damn near to death and end up going to jail and lose everything, you know. And on top of that, I got siblings, Billy and Andy. And I got other people in my life that I wouldn't want to see, you know, torn, torn because of my decision. Now... I should have went down there. I really, I should have, but I didn't because I thought smart. You know what I'm saying? Thought about my career, thought about my life that is ahead of me. But at the same time, I knew he would have went, he would have did something in my name. And that's what's so fucked up about it. You know, that I didn't go. But, you know, at the same time, I wouldn't want him to go down there, go do something to somebody else. Knowing they had, he has a life ahead of him. He was, he was young, but um, I didn't want to make a video like this. I really didn't. But a lot of people were asking me, "What's wrong? This, this, and that. Are you okay?" Like for the past couple of days. To be honest with you, I wasn't okay at the moment. I lost somebody that was like family. And I will be making a, a shirt for him in his name. Because he was just... 
like a little brother to me, you know what I'm saying? But it it just sucks, you know what I'm saying? And I want I I wish I could have met him on my vlogs, man. But you know, I I hate losing losing people. I just hate it. I always blame myself because I I should have been there when he was going through. Because it's it, it was been a while since I talked to him. And I'm not even gonna hold you. Like yeah, I talked to I talked to him before I sw tr uh, switched over schools. We were just talking, and then we were talking shit about each other, and then and then on jokes, on jokes, we were just talking shit about each other on jokes. But nah, man, it's just like damn. That's why. That's why I always play stuff. Sometimes by the books. I'm not gonna say I'm a goody goody. You know what I'm saying? I don't do a lot of stuff by the books. So a lot of stuff I do not do by the books. But to, in order to continue living and to continue to do what I do now is which makes videos, go to college, work. For me to continue living, I play by those books. You know what I'm saying? And I want everybody to play by the books to survive. You know what I'm saying? If you get stopped by the police, do not be a retard and think you're going to be famous because you died by the cops. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. Don't be ignorant. Do not be ignorant. When you leave, when this is what my mom always tells me. When you leave the house, you make sure you go home. Make sure you make it back home. Always make sure you make it back. You think something is up, you feel you have a gut feeling that you feel like something is not right. You go home. You go home. And I've always played by that rule. Because I want to make it back home. Home is my safe place. Home is where I know I'm going to be safe. Like I see in my last vlog, I know how to use a gun. I make it back home. That's my number one priority. Every time I go out, every time I go vlog, all of that, I make sure I go home. And I pray every night I will make it back home. Because not a lot of people can. Not a lot of people are in that situation where they're sure they're going to make it back home. You know what I'm saying? So guys, please, please make sure you always make it back home to the people that love you the most. It's, it's a number one priority, bro. It really is. It's a... Number one priority for you to make it home and survive and continue living no matter what. Be intelligent about your life decisions because not everybody makes it back. Especially for black people and Hispanics. You know, the system cheats us. Cheats us. It just cheats us, period. So that's why I'm telling y'all, either you're white, black, Hispanic, Asian, make it back home, bro. I love all my subscribers. I love, I love everybody. I treat everybody the same. You know what I'm saying? Because we're all human at the end of the day. So please, for my sake, and for your family's sake, don't do nothing that you know that is going to kill you. 
Don't do nothing that's going to put you at life risk. Do not do that because it's not smart and it's not intelligent. So please, for me, for everybody that loves you or knows you, make it home. Safely. But I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. In next, I'm not I'm going to say Saturday. Saturday's video. I'm making a video Saturday. But I will be catching y'all on Saturday's video. We'll catch y'all next time. Bow.